Alright, so I have a quick thing to say real quick about what just happened with my audio. And what just happened was, apparently, my microphone decided to stop recording audio properly, and now it's really, really quiet. And what's happening in the game is going to be post-commentary, because I had, like, when I was doing it, I didn't realize that the audio was so quiet and messed up. Because I can't actually see the audio track while I'm recording this. So, sadly, the audio fucked up. And now I have to post-commentate for the rest of this recording. Because I can't really just redo it properly. Because we actually got some... We got pretty far, I think. Kind of. But pretty much what I was what I was doing in this point, as you can see, I, I unfroze him with the fire arrow. And we are now a Goron. And the idea of this boss is pretty much just beat his ass as a Goron. I'm pretty sure you can do it with arrows as well. But I went with the route of using a Goron. As you can see, you just bash the shit out of the side. Pretty pretty simple. He's not a hard boss. He's definitely a pretty easy boss to kill. He just takes a little bit of time. I also actually recorded some zombies with uh, Cypher yesterday. And that was right after this recording. And my microphone was still shitty at that point, but I didn't really think of it like that. Because I just thought, you know, oh, Audacity isn't showing the track the same way as it does all the time. But the audio is going to be fine because it doesn't make a difference. Because it never really did, ever. But it actually started making, like, a lot of background noise and shit. And you can barely hear my voice. And, uh, it seems to be fine now. It seems to be okay. Which is good. But... A lot of shit is going wrong with my Wii as well. I don't know what happened to it. Apparently, my Wii decided that it wanted to be like a really, really old sitcom fucking movie, and it's black and white. So, I can't record any fucking Super Mario Sunshine today, which sucks, because I was going to do that. It's kind of shitty, though. I mean, Super Mario Sunshine needs to be finished at some point. I started that a very long time ago, and I can't even record it properly because it would be in black and white now, and I don't think anybody wants to watch it in black and white. And all those fucking blasts that he shoots are like homing missiles, and that was good times. Wow. <laughs> Apparently I couldn't get around that pillar. I don't know if I should uh, show the next couple parts of this the same way that I recorded it, because without the live commentary, it's not going to be the same. I might just edit out a couple of the, the failed shit, and I finally beat him. That's good. It takes quite a while with this guy. He's kind of an annoying boss. He's really easy, but he's very time-consuming. Yeah, I have to... I don't know if I'm going to edit out... What happened? I might just commentate for the whole rest of this recording, but... We did, however, get the mask. So we made progress in the game, which is good. What exactly are all of you?
Guardians. Guardians? So you're protective gods. That's why you're in the temples. But why are you protective gods? Or why are the protective gods? I read that wrong. My bad. No, wait. Are you listening to me? Hey, wait. So apparently the Guardians don't give two fucks about whether or not the place is saved because they don't listen to you. But it's whatever. Alright, so here I was like, oh hey, look, it's the frog. I guess we should put the frog mask on, but I guess joke was on me. I've been waiting for you, Don G Geru. Okay, Geru, sure. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you lost a little weight. So as you can see, Don Geru, along the long winter has ended, and the spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Unfortunately, it seems all of our members have, okay, sure, haven't gathered yet. Perhaps it was because winter was too long. They must have realized the spring has come to the mountains. Okay, sure, just, I can't fucking press A, so. When the great Dongaro has come for us, for, to sure. <laughs> what in the world could the other members be? What could they be doing? I don't have control of where the text is going, because I, I can't press A. Since I'm doing this as I watch the recording. Fucking post-commentary. It's not as fun to do a post-commentary. I like live commentaries a lot more. Oh, a customer. Oh, fetch our customer some coffee, quick-like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Alright, to reforge your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be really, or it'll be ready in sun, sure, sunrise. You'll have to let us hold on to the sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it will lose its edge, and it'll be back to its original sharpness. So, would you like your sword reforged for 100 rupees? Apparently I would. That, okay, sure, whatever. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so when I did this, I wasn't thinking about how long it would take for the sword to actually be reforged. I was like, alright, fuck it, let's go. So, I sped up time, and you'll see why this is a problem later. I, I apparently didn't know the song the first couple of times, too, so... There we go. Dawn of the first day, or final day. Be nice if it was the first day. But now, as you can see, it's the final day, and we get our sword back. And the reason why this is a problem is because I wanted to make it the gold one. I kept you waiting, but it's done. See? So we got the cool ass, like, Kokiri, Kokiri sword thing, which is cool. It's great and all. But after I hit it 100 times, the blade will lose its edge, and it will return to its original sharpness. Now here's a secret. If you bring me gold dust before the sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make you or make it the strongest sword around. You got that? Gold dust. So in order to make that sword better, we need gold dust. And in order for us to use the gold dust, we need to be able to wait another day. And since it's the final day, by waiting in a full other day, the world would 
be broken and destroyed and you would no longer be able to do things so I went all the way to the next part thinking oh hey we'll just fucking go get the gold dust but no no I get the gold dust that actually happens but I end up not being able to use it which sucks because that means I have to do the next part again I was also kind of curious what was down this hole. And if you're wondering why I keep switching to the fucking Deku mask, it's because the analog stick on my, my Xbox controller likes to think that left is down sometimes. So, it just, it, it makes decisions for me, and it's not cool. I don't like it. Apparently all that was down that hole was only 20 bucks. If you're wondering why I grabbed the spring water, I wasn't sure if the uh, place that I needed to go to was dethought or not, so... I was like, well, we might as well just grab this and take it with us, just in case. There's no harm in that, right? It's always good. In order to talk to this guy, you have to actually be a Goron. And I really wanted to break that for some reason. But it wasn't working out for me. Yeah. I'm a Goron who sells power kegs and the most famous product in the Gorons. But the rules say I can't sell power kegs to anyone who isn't a Goron. I'm Goron, so fucking same dialogue as before. Want a power keg? Power kegs explode with powerful blast. And are very dangerous until I have tested you. Apparently, I I didn't give a fuck about reading that. All right, <laughs> if you destroy the boulder, the blocks, and entrance to the Goron Rock Race, something use a power keg. I'm almost, or I'm about to give you. Then I'll prove you to carry them. Awesome. He's testing us. He wants to see if we can take this power keg and use it properly. When the powder keg begins to tick faster, it means that it's about to blow up. Try to blow up the boulder, blocking the Goron racetrack entrance without the power keg exploding on the wet. There's a sign near the tra racetrack, so keep an eye out for when... Okay, finished. Come see me. Awesome. And apparently our spring water decided to not be pot anymore. Oh no. 